bad breath. Oh man, it's all happening now, huh? Let's see. Oh, uh, let's see where we're at. Is this running yet? I don't know about this whole new setup I have because I can't. When you hit uh -oh. it on, oh, we are live. All right, theme song. Good. Yeah, we're live. Oh, what camera am I looking? Hey, how's it going, guys? Guess what? Surprise! Totally local. Happening once again. Colorful characters. Interesting people. And uh, what was the other part? Entrepreneurs and the local businesses in, the, in and around the Jersey Shore, Monmouth County, Ocean County area. You know the deal. You know what we're doing. And you know what we're about. That's right. It's Monmouth and Ocean County's... I, I'm going to say it because the votes are in. This is the best one. So look no further. If you're looking for information on Monmouth and Ocean County, it doesn't get any better than this. You know, that's what I used to say on my dates. I'd say, here I am. It doesn't get any better than this. You look know, at sometimes, me. I'm Mr. Totally Local. Sometimes they'd stay. Sometimes they'd go. <laughs> Speaking of staying. So you, you, found, you found a keeper, so you don't have to worry about that. That's right. That's what I did. I found a keeper. That's exactly what I said. I said, hey. <laughs> Here, you want to go out? She said yes. I said, all right, let's go. And then we went out. I was like, all right, let's. looks good. We're doing good. Boom. And now I have a kid. So, <laughs> guys, what's... Uh, <laughs> what's and, and, and Gary's got number two on the way. Oh, wow. Gary Mawson, real estate agent to the stars, developer, uh, investor, a true entrepreneur in and around the Jersey Shore area. Am I wrong or am I right? You were right, yeah. <laughs> Ah, so when's the uh, when's the bundle of joy? When's the second one coming coming to us? Coming to us live and in full uh, effect. Thanksgiving Day. Oh wow, we're having a turkey. I love it. Nice. Mm -hmm. He found a way to get out of family Thanksgiving. I love it. That's perfect. That's what everyone kept saying <laughs> to us. Too bad the quarantine already had done that. So I mean, it's like it couldn't have happened next year. <laughs> Are we going to be in quarantine at Thanksgiving again this year? I mean, oh, man. we're we're SOL for Turkey Day, I think, no, right? I, I don't know. I, I don't know if this is like, uh, I don't know what side says this more, but or maybe no side says this, but like it seems to me uh, that, you know, once the election kind of happens and that all kerfluffle happens, then all this other stuff is going to get settled. And I hopefully we'll go back to a, you know, some semblance of normal. That's that's what I would like to see. You know, ideally, you know, but this is normal. This is normal. We meet on Zoom and then <laughs> and then we find a, a loading dock to go meet on to yes. be socially distant and, and have beers and have beers. You know, was and Gary also, with Gary was with us in, in March with one of our one of our first weeks. Right. You that, were that was like the beginning you know, of like beautiful weather. Gary, it, was, it was nice. Beautiful weather. We were he like, was oh, at the lake be, house. We got he was couple, on his earbuds. We got a couple weeks of this and then we'll be done. And then that's it. You know, pandemic. What are you talking Month about? Later. <laughs> well, then we'll we'll try we'll try again next May. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. That's right, Jody. Another Sagittarius. You're you're gonna have another. You're gonna have a Sagittarius child. Jody on Instagram is Sagittarius. My wife is a Sagittarius. They have matching tattoos. Long story. Uh, and also, uh, my my son is a Sagittarius. So you'll be joining a world of indecision and uh just confusion and just they're going to be interested in a lot of different things so get ready my first one's a sagittarius as well boom there you go you're kind of you're in it what are you a virgo me i'm a pisces ah nice nice Hor horoscope talk astrology here on uh, never never did that before we need to get some astrologers <laughs> on here and tell us what the hell's going on and hopefully um, we won't need an astrologer to, for you to tell us uh, what should we be doing with this real estate. What's going on with the real estate, man? Are, are people – you can't get a house in Whiting, for crying out loud. What's going on? <laughs> uh, I mean, it's a great time to sell. I mean, it really is still a good time to buy. The interest rates are so damn low. Mm -hmm. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, people are paying top dollar right now for, for houses all over the place. It doesn't really uh, – you know – it's kind of opposite from what you would think it would would, would have really happened, but yeah, uh, yeah I mean, and if, this isn't, uh, it's not a bubble right now. It's just we haven't hit economic uh, crises levels, and people are just kind of shifting around. My brother, he's selling his house, and in, in, uh, he has a, he had a rental property in Leonardo, and he's just like, "F it, I'm I don't you know I don't want to deal with this anymore," you know. Um, what uh where's the where, okay if you if you want to okay if you want to say you're you're a first time home buyer 
you you love Monmouth and Ocean County almost as much as I do, and you want to move into this area because you just you just you're part of the soil and you need to be here. Um, what 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 range are we looking at? And and what you know what's what can people get? What's what's the hot town to go into? Where where should they go? Where is there room for anybody, Gary? Where where are they going? How much, how much money do they have? Yeah, what do you want to spend? <laughs> Let's say they're like working class, upper upper mids. Let's say they want to spend around mm, three hundred thousand, three fifty. Waiting. <laughs> there you go. You're either in Keensburg, or yeah. um, you could probably get into parts of Keyport, maybe like North Middletown. Nice. I mean, North Middletown, let's be honest, is Keensburg. Everyone wants to change the name, but it's basically Keensburg. Sorry, people. Sorry, North Middletown. We're not buying it. Uh, anyway, the uh, Keyport's interesting. I like Keyport. That's a, that's a cool town. That's a nice town, right? Am I wrong? Definitely a hot market. I mean, all the markets are hot, but I think that the it still has like the little the small town feel where you have the downtown and restaurants and bars and stuff to do. You have the waterfront. There's a lot of it's cool. It's a cool little spot near the parkway. Some fixer uppers in those neighborhoods. Too. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's shift on to that. So, uh, you know, uh, a, a first time home buyer with family, you're kind of screwed. Go to Whiting. Uh, what about like investment properties? Is that is that just like a mythical? Is that like just? Is it, are you more likely to see the Jersey Devil than to find like an investment property for around like one fifth? Like, could you buy like one fifty, two hundred thousand? No, uh, off market. Okay, so <laughs> so you that's, just, that's Gary's favorite phrase: off market. <laughs> <laughs> off market. Knocking on doors and on the pavement i look i mean you can buy that stuff in like keensburg you can still find stuff uh you know sub 150 if you really if you're if you're really looking to get into the investment stuff uh you just have to talk to this guy about flood insurance if uh if you want to be over there because it's uh <laughs> the whole town's a flood zone pretty much it's, wet. it's pretty wet over there um now i uh i have a, a acquaintance of mine who knows nothing about contracting, knows nothing about owning a home, and he thought it would be fun. He thought it would be fun to, to to get a rental property going. And I asked him, I'm like, do you have a contractor? He's like, no. A couple days later, I see him posting something on Facebook. He's like, hey, is there any contractors out there? Now, uh, <laughs> if you can find one, you're in big trouble right now because they're, you should run the other way because all the good ones are are booked for the next 12 months. Yeah, so like uh, somebody in that in that situation, I couldn't tell him not to jump because you can't ever tell anybody to like, you know, do the logical thing and just not do that because it sounds very difficult. And I guess you won't. I mean, Gary, when you started out, you know, as a, as a young buck in the streets, knocking on doors, like convincing, you know, old old ladies to get the hell out of their house so you could fix it up and, and sell it for, for a mint. Um, it, it was it was I'm imagining you had a lot of trouble in the beginning, a lot of uh, things you had to figure out. Like, what are some of the bigger things that if somebody wants to get into owning an uh, investment property to, to have it as a rental property? Like, what are some of the like the 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 pit? Falls that you would like to see people avoid at all costs. All right, Andrew, you asked like forty questions. <laughs> That's kind of what I do. So just, you just cherry pick. Answer whatever you want. Yeah, answer. just cherry pick whatever you want. <laughs> just pull some words out of the sky yeah. and uh, hope that it, it like hits home on this one. That's usually what I do in life. <laughs> um. I don't even know where to start. There were so many questions that I was trying to like keep track of. I mean, look, if you just, I was in the real estate business already. So people would see, see us selling houses. And, uh, you know, I, I started with my own house, my own primary residence, just basically doing some renovations there. And then I snowballed that into other things. And um, realistic, realistically, most recently in my first property that I had gotten in like the that started this string is uh, I got because I had helped a buddy fix his house and then his father-in-law had a property that they, gave, they were the executor to and uh, it was a uh, pretty pretty wrecked and we went in there and we read, we made him an offer he accepted it we you know we went the hard money route spent a lot of money there and we renovated it and the banker made just as much money as we did on our on flipping the property mm -hmm. 
And we just kind of snowballed it from there. Then we bought another primary residence that was a fixer upper. And actually we bought a primary residence that was a fixer upper. We were actually renting when we did our first flip property there. And then we bought a primary, we renovated that and then decided uh, the market started taking off and sold that one. And I don't know, I mean, it was really just a matter of being in the market and really just kind of a, uh, a timing thing and being in the right place at the right time. So I mean, the more irons you have in the fire, the more likely you're going to be able to get a property. But you also have to be like, you kind of have to be hands on in these situations. You have to be, you know, handy. You can't, you can't just go into this thing like, you know, you know, just some, some land baron and like, you know, with your fancy, you know, riding boots on and show up and start like, you know, barking orders at people. You have to like, right. actually. It's a fancy mask. <sighs> Gary, can we see your mask, please? Put your mask on. Oh, nice. <laughs> this is how he rides into his properties to get picked, especially in Neptune. That's right. That's over well. <laughs> that's perfect. That's perfect. That's that's. So the first couple, I, I would do the work myself and I did learn a lot. I do not pick up the hammers anymore. Smart. I can something small and minor that I know that I can just get done and not have to spend, you know, 75, 150 bucks on calling a specialist out there. I'll, I'll just do it. If it's a loose, something loose underneath the sink, like it's leaking that way, I, I'll just do it. Yeah. I usually have tools in my car and I'll just take care of it. Um... I don't know what the point I was going for. Well, I mean, I think the point is, is that you, you need to, you need to <laughs> know, you, is, you, is you at least need to know a little bit about, about what you're doing. Cause if you let a contractor go into one of these places, no, no disrespect. I mean, you know, somewhere between disrespect and respect, you know, uh, the contractor is just going to kind of maybe might just do the least amount of work as possible and might just cut some corners. If you have no frigging idea what you're doing. So definitely getting a lot of estimates in the beginning and really drilling down on what the costs are is important, especially when you're trying to flip a property for, for uh, you know, might to make money. I mean, knowing what your numbers are going into it is going to be really important because you really, you make the money on the purchase because what it's going to sell for on the back end and what your construction costs are going to be pretty fixed. Mm -hmm. like, I mean, you're not always going to have a market that's appreciating as fast as you have, you have right now where that's going to save you. And if you're hoping for appreciation like in a, in a market like this, you're, you're likely going to be the one left holding the bag in the end when the, when whenever something had, does happen and the market does decline. You don't really want to be in that position. You want to be, you want to make your money up front, your money's made in the purchase. And then you, you so knowing your numbers is going to be extremely important. Know your numbers, people. That's 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 a fact. What about like uh, what about land? What about if I just wanted to build a little shanty on a couple <laughs> acres? Like, you know, is that is it is it possible to find land that's available that isn't like protected because some, Tennessee, some... Tennessee, Tennessee, <laughs> keep going, pass whiting, Jackson, Jackson, no, nothing. All right, all right. Um, uh, building property is tough. Right? There's a lot. A lot more that goes into building a like a new construction home than there is renovating an existing home. Okay, all, so right. all the permitting you have, architecture you have, uh, engineering. Uh, did I say permitting? Yeah, you yes. Did. So I mean, you have to you have to like kind DPA, of basically know DPA, all of the, the DP. Yeah, I mean, you have foundation, framing, insulation. Uh, I mean, everything electrical. You have all sorts of inspections, like. You have rough inspections, you have final inspections. So you have to, there's a lot more steps that are involved in building a new house. All right. So with that, it really, uh, you're, you're going to have to find somebody who really knows what they're doing and really be on top of it. Wow. Where was, uh, where was young Gary, you know, 08, you know, the world seemed, let's say 07, the world seemed, uh, you, you had the world by the, you know, proverbial, you know what? And uh, you, you, the the world was looking up for you, Gary. And you said, "What could possibly happen? What were you yeah. doing around that time?" Oh, eight hits. <laughs> I was losing my shirt okay, in that time. I didn't know anything at that point. Ah, I love it. Actually, so I, I that's when I got my, my real estate license was 2007. Perfect. I had started in this business just before that in the mortgage industry, and I mean, I watched that whole market just kind of. What what made you keep doing it? <laughs> it was a horrible time, man. It was a horrible time. There was really nothing 
the job market was terrible. I mean, That's true. everything was bad. So I mean, where were you getting a job? I have really no choice. It was, yeah. I call it swim or swim. Yes. I hear swim you. Or swim. I, 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 that's around the time uh, I've told people before I lived in New Mexico. I'm, I'm, I'm totally local. I, I'm from here, but I lived in New Mexico for a while. And the, that was the only thing is I, I moved back here right around that time. So employment was just horrible in New Mexico. So co in comparison, I was like, oh, this isn't that bad. I can, you know, find something to do like there. There was like nothing. So, yeah, it's been it's been uh, on the up and up ever. Uh, well, so far, I did so a good. lot of rentals. Uh huh. Yeah. What's up with that, man? Like eh, as far as rental go, that's just a big pain in the ass because you got your fiduciary responsibilities and and, and you're showing people these big, places. Big words. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I've, I have my license. I took the test. I got qualified. Um, but like you, you know, as far as as far as finding, I guess the market's different now for renters because they could just kind of go out on their own. And I'm sure m most real estate agents are happy about that because from what I understand, what, what's get whispered in my ear is that trying to find rental properties for people is usually just a huge pain in the ass that you don't get much of a reward out of. Um, aside from the experience, am I am I in the right uh, you know frame of mind there for that? I mean, as a new agent that just needed to make money, I, I would have taken anything. Nice. So, I, uh, you know, my I think one of my first sales was like honestly twenty eight thousand dollar co op in Tom River, nice. or, and I, I was so excited just to have a sale. And then when I got the check, I'm like. Uh, I made less on this than I did, did doing a rental. So I'm like, oh, I got man. the experience of the sale, but I mean, you know, it is what it is. And uh, every, every check counts. So, I mean, if you string enough rentals together, it's just, just like selling a, a, a property and it's the quickest way to, to a dollar in this business. So, I mean, uh, that's how I always look at it. I'll yeah. say I still do rentals to this day. I mean, I'm not. Gonna you can build a good rental business. We have friends that you know have a tremendous rental business. So if you have the right partners in play and the right landlords and and the years and years of loyalty, I mean, you can string together a great rental business, especially in the university market marketplace. I guess that um, makes sense, man. That's uh... you know, but. I like that. There's like no that. rentals right now, so there's nothing to do. Like it's, you know, I guess people just need buyers. Yeah. What are what <laughs> with, are all the real what are the real ready, estate ready agents? What are the real estate agents doing? They can't even go into an office. There's no window traffic. Like there's no foot traffic going past your past your office. Um, are they just packing it in, becoming Elvis impersonators, going on to? I don't know. Can bus. you do that? Is is that a thing, anyone? I mean, oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> Your I mean, side hustle. <laughs> yeah. What are what are Can like? Yeah, Elvis impersonation on TikTok now. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> that that stall is a yes. We have to look that up. <laughs> TikTok realty. I, I I love I love it. Um, hold on a second. Hold on he's, one he's like, I gotta, I gotta erase my videos now. Nah. Oh, please. I've, I've, uh, I've said more embarrassing. Last week, I, I was putting my foot in, foot in my mouth. Uh, every other, every other question I asked, poor Jeff Plate. Uh, he's, he's in trouble now from everything I said. Um, <laughs> but we made it back. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Plenty, of, plenty of views. Plenty of beer. Life, life is good. Life is good. Epic shouts to Jeff Plate over at Asbury Park Brewery. Enjoying, enjoying the beers. Uh, Naive Melody. Still love it. Got a little ginger in there. Got to keep the health, you know, healthy with a little fun. That's that's what I'm all about. And as go. far as healthy with a little bit of fun, uh, what what are you guys what are you guys doing over there? What are you just having a little uh, little lunch powwow? Am I allowed to say powwow anymore? What are you guys up to? Little 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 lunch powwow. But we're we're sitting at my ping pong table. Nice. So we are gonna eat some lunch after we shut this video down, uh -huh. and then we are gonna have a couple of games of. Uh, of ping pong gary and i you know it's been a while since we've played so we uh Aaron, we, got a, we got a little we got a little tournament going Ooh. you know we got i got five bucks in my pocket that i'm gonna double and make it to, to make it 10 <laughs> um after i beat gary and uh you know because i play by house rules so we'll we'll we'll, we'll, we'll be good what uh who, who's actually the better ping ponger ping ponger uh, 
it's a good competition. We have fun. That's have fun. Gary. That's why you're such a good agent because you 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 know you know what to say, what to do, and how to behave. <laughs> Uh, Aaron, uh, what was your what was your weekend like? Did you do anything uh, exciting? Did you did you get any get any uh, get any time we, in? The we beach? had a we had a Kentucky Derby party on Saturday. We had some local families come over. We mm-hmm. rented a bounce house. I own a water slide, so we had the bounce house, the water slide, the swing set, the outdoor TV, the beer, and the pizza guy making pizzas in the backyard for like twenty five people. Wow! Um, so, you know. Kentucky Derby race is coming up. So at six o'clock, we put all the horse names into a hat or a bowl or whatever. And uh, everybody paid $10 to pick one name out of a hat out of the 14, 15 horses that were, were actually running. So everybody picks their horses that we get ours. Great. No big deal. So the people that actually got the favorite tis the law, I then bought it off of them. They paid $10 to pick it out of the hat. They got it. Uh-huh. They could have stayed in the race to win the 150, but the smart wife, Mrs. Massey, mm. when I said, hey, I'll give you 50 bucks for that right now, she took my 50, and then tis the law lost. <laughs> so in my own little gambling ring in my backyard, I lost $60 on the uh, Kentucky Derby. Wow. Bummer. I mean, you should, you, it happens. I, that's that's gambling. That's gambling, you know, and that's uh, that's real estate. If you don't keep your eye on the prize, six minutes in, I could have I could have lost more. So I was it was okay. <laughs> I didn't actually bet at the racetrack or anywhere else. So I, in theory, I still saved myself probably two hundred more dollars. Perfect. By not actually going online and gambling. That's Sounds like the, uh, Andrew horses. didn't get an invite to this party. Yeah, yeah. I didn't. <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't. It's like our quarantine, you know, that the, the, the local, the local for the local neighbors and the and the kids that play together was, uh, you know. But it was it was it was it was nice. We had great weather to be outside and oh, drink yeah. loops and you know bounce on the bounce house. And who knows um, how much more uh, you know this? I, I don't know if I could take a cold a cold pandemic winter. You know, I, I hope everything kind of opens up a little bit more, a little bit sooner. Hope we can be in. I don't think the restaurants can take a cold pandemic winter. Yeah. I mean, I've I've heard people say, well, you could you could tent outside, you could heat it outside, but I'm like, still, you're not gonna, it's not gonna be the same, you know, it's not gonna I be. I drove down Ocean Avenue in Seabright, so Woody's like took over the whole parking lot. Um, they have like thirty heaters outside. Like every table has a private heater on it. Like so, he's ready. He's like, snow's coming. We're we got the heaters and the umbrella and the umbrellas up. We're cranking it out with propane, and uh, and that's it. So you got to do what you got to do. That's what you got to do. What you got to do. <laughs> you got to get sell burgers and tacos. Uh, what uh, what what do you guys <clears throat> what do you guys have coming up this this weekend? Anything anything fun? Anything exciting? I know after this weekend, Tuesday. I hope you're both gonna. I, well, I know Aaron obviously is gonna be there, but Gary, are you? I'm invited to to Tuesday. Are you are you gonna be there? The paddle event. Oh yeah, I'll be there. He'll be there. He has to register still, so I'll sit, resend him the link. Are you? I are you? A, I couldn't find it. Are you? Are you a paddler, or do you? Do you paddle? Without you I'm, know, not just ping pong, but do you paddle board? Um, I mean, I can. I mean, I'm not great, but I, I'll, I'll get on there and won't fall. That's <laughs> that's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. Really. That's, that's the name of the game. Weather's looking good, and so we've got about forty some odd people already registered. Wow. Uh, we got great sponsors. We got um, you and Me? Ming. That's from a right. shared universe, beautiful. Time. Coming to do some live video for for an hour or so. Yeah, um, we're just gonna have fun. We're gonna have a good time. It's gonna be great to get together with people in a large, socially distant space Outdoors. on the river and in the backyard and the parking lot and whatever, what have you. It's yeah. it's gonna be it's gonna be a cool networking event. Um, so yeah, if anybody who's watching right now wants to to join us, we can uh, we can get the link up. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, we got a few more spots open. Get in touch, LG Insurance. Get in touch with Aaron. Come on, people. Um, oh, nice. This weekend too. There you go. We got it. You got it. Gary's being asked, invited from multiple angles. So it's there. You go. Perfect. Guys, Evan Beach didn't send you one. Also, he know. did. He did also. Okay. Yeah. So he got three invites, <laughs> and he hasn't answered and he hasn't any of them once. So that, that's where the that's where the link is that I've been was searching for from Aaron's name, but I I don't think I got it from Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I see. Text message. Anyway, yeah, you got that. All right, so I sent the text. Oh, what a, what a, what a. 
details. You, uh, so, so, you know, you, you have any hot deals in the pipeline, Gary? Do you have anything going on in whiting? Is whiting just sold out? Why am I so obsessed with whiting? I don't know. Just because I don't um, think I've ever been there and I just see the signs all the time. For I it. see that market's tough over there. So like uh, that Pine Lake Park area, uh -huh. Manchester, is um, you're, they're having all sorts of appraisal issues. We have a listing over there and under appraised and, and uh, you know, I've been calling all the other agents to find out the under contract homes, what they're, they're experiencing. And it's just across the board over there. It, it, they've hit the ceiling and uh, it hasn't broken through yet. So when you say like appraisal issues, people are like selling, like trying to sell. I know, for example, there was there was like some house in an adult community. It was listed at like one thirty, and uh, I know somebody that 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 called up or, or got in touch with the agent, and the agent had to like take the listing down because she's like she got so many calls on it uh, that she didn't know what to do. So like, are you saying that like the the houses there are are listed lower than they should be or is it the opposite? Uh, no, they're actually they're selling for higher than what the homes are appraising for right now. Wow. So things are getting getting crazy down down in Manchester and Whiting. Yeah, I mean that so that neighborhood's really really it's very affordable. I mean, you're you're buying like basically new construction there for, you know, four and a quarter. I mean, four bedroom, 24 to 20, 100 square foot colonial homes on, you know, decent sized lots, like everything's brand new, four and a quarter. I mean, and you're, you're having appraisal issues with them. That's so the last, when was the last time we had appraisal issues in the market? Are we talking like 05, right before oh. 05, 06, when things were a little bit nutty, right? Um, I think you, that probably went all the way through to about 2009 is when you, when you were having appraisal issues. People just were just, <clears throat> people just wanted to buy and it was the same kind of similar thing where there wasn't a lot in, it, available and people were just throwing out crazy, 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 crazy numbers. And anytime you have a mass, like a sharp incline or decline in the market, you're going to have appraisal, appraisal issues. So this means come to the table with more cash. Is there, is there any, you know, aside from, <laughs> aside from whiting. Is there any is there any markets or is there any like lanes that you're looking into now either you know condominiums adult communities single families or any towns or any specific areas that or you don't want to give away any any kind of top secret information you know which I understand There's really call no, Gary directly There's really no secret area right now everything's hot even like Neptune was the the hot market for a while and I mean the prices there have gone through the roof it's crazy Uh-huh I hear you. Um, Asbury Park, you saw what, what happened there. Silly. I can't believe the prices there. And <laughs> even still, even as a real estate agent, when I look at them, I'm like, it's crazy how much people are paying for these houses now. Are these, are these out, are these like people that are, are like, <laughs> are these out, like, are these New Yorkers or are they like, uh, you know, you know, Benjamin Worthington the third who lived in Navasink and his kids moved out and you know the other's in rehab and he has nowhere to go he just wants to get rid of his giant house and move into a condo and he doesn't care that it costs half a million like what what, what who are the people that are buying these places they're not totally local right it's everybody <laughs> it's a little bit honestly it is it's a little bit of everybody wow it's the, the people that are selling like a lot of the north jersey people are the ones that are coming in and really starting to drive our market in new york north jersey they're selling like their city Hoboken condos, New York City condos, and like, and then they're coming down here, and uh, they're they're really driving the market. And I, I feel like some of the people who are are the locals can't keep pace because they just don't have as much money as they do. We might be going down to like Atlantic County. We might be going down to, you know, the very end. We might be just pushed all the way down to. The very tip of all the way at the bottom where that ferry That's is. Cape May County. Yeah, there you go. Cape May County. <laughs> Couldn't think of the name. Prices go back up when you get into Cape May County. Yes, they do. They go uh, back up. Damn it! We're going to. We're going to. You're staying. You're staying right in the middle. Of that Atlantic County. Egg you know, Harbor. Is that Egg Southern Harbor Ocean. Township? Forked River. Egg Harbor Township. Forked River. I think the name Forked River keeps more people out of Forked River because it's so like country that they're like, we don't want to live Forked River. Like, no, son, it's a Forked. It's Forked River. Thank you very much. It's really strange that they did that, but whatever. I digress. Uh, so we got we got the we got the paddle club on uh, on on Tuesday. Um, right. 
you know, I think we covered a lot of uh, a lot of real estate topics. Hopefully, I don't sound like a complete idiot, but most of the time I do. That's okay. Sorry, I threw so many questions at you at once. I uh, I get I get excited, especially about real estate. Um, Gary, I, I want to thank you again. We, we've got to do this more often. Um, I really see in your future, Gary. Now I'm calling it. We're recording it. I could see you doing like like talks i could see you on stage or or like you know really really letting people know what the hell's going on you know in in regard to real estate i I don't know you beyond you know anything we've talked about but i I could see you kind of working that angle i'm just i'm just throwing it out there if you need any help get anything started like that let me know uh so he already does i mean so gary does a monthly investment club that used to be live nostradamus now meets virtually ish i guess um so, so give give gary five more minutes he's ready to roll on this topic all right well how do well, i get I'm actually, in uh, i'm actually doing the the live class this saturday it uh, starts at 9 30 in the morning it's 9 30 to 10 30 uh and we didn't do it this past it's you know, normally the first month, first saturday of every month and we i slacked off on doing it a little bit partially because Change. of the holiday there but uh you know, we're going to do it this Saturday. I'll, I'm going to send out emails and uh, notify the Facebook world uh, probably tell us, today. Tell us more about what it tell us the, you know, tell us the gist of it. Tell us more about this. How, how do we get involved? What's going on? So we're really just talking about investing in real estate, whether it's buy and hold or flipping properties and the different ways that you can get involved in it and um, different ways to find properties. We kind of just pick a topic every every month and, and talk about it. And is this something that you started? Is it with a group of people or did you just kind of spearhead this and like people picked up on it? I spearheaded it. We've been doing it for almost two years now. Nice. Uh, December will be two years that Uh we've been doing it. I've been kind of, I kind of kept it small in the beginning just so I didn't, uh, just to kind of reach out to my own network of people and kind of keep them engaged and talk to them. And now we're starting to open it up to more more people now. See, I knew it. You had a vibe, Gary, and I picked up on that vibe. I knew it. I could tell. You know, I guess I'm I'm like thinking like I'm thinking the old normal like okay, get in front of people and talk to them. But this is the new normal where it's digital. So I understand what these kids are doing with their cassette tapes and their mini discs. I'm up on it. <laughs> uh, you guys, uh, I, I want to thank you for for taking the time uh, from your ping pong tournament to uh, to talk to me about all these things. We'll give you we'll give you an update after I win. Okay, perfect. And uh, is, as far as Gary, as far as getting getting in touch with you in regards to uh, what we we're just talking about, is there is there a, a, win, a link, a website, something people could search for that where, where they could find more information on that? Um, so we, you can email me Gary at Gmail. You can find me on Instagram at, at investor data and, um, we're the Jersey property group. Nice. Uh, and we, so you can find us on Facebook there. Perfect. Well. All right, cool. Well, thank you very much, Gary. Uh, Aaron, uh, as always, uh, it's, it's been Yo, lovely. You're, you're, it's you're, great. It's great to see you. How's Thanks the, for uh, popping in. How's the, uh, picking up and drop, dropping off going on for, for, for school. Kid, kids are in school. We're, we're, we're making it work. I mean, this week is short days for for the five-year-old. The two-year-old's got to get picked up at 315. So we're, we're, just, we're, we're just making it. We're making it work. They're in school. They're happy. They're having fun. They're going to learn something. So as long as we can keep it rolling, we'll just, we'll, we'll figure it all out. So Perfect. thank God everybody's still safe and healthy and yeah. Just, just rolling. That's great. That's awesome. So uh, again, Gary, congratulations on uh, on your on your second Sagittarius. Good good luck uh, with 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 that. That's that's a lot of Sagittarius in, in one house. Um, uh, this is, of course, the best podcast in uh, in Monmouth and Ocean County. It's it's been declared. It's been decided. This is it. Totally local podcast. Totally underscore local underscore podcast on Instagram. Uh, find us on Facebook if you haven't already. This is, you know, totally local podcast. Just look us up. We're, we're there. Come on, people. Get with it. Uh, as always, uh, Aaron, thank you so much. LG Insurance. Get in touch with Aaron for all your insurance needs. Gary, uh, thank you so much. Gary Mawson. Uh, if, if you're thinking about selling a house in Whiting, please, please get in touch with Gary. He can help you out. Uh, th- <laughs> thank you, every everybody, and uh, we'll catch you next time.